did light up the sky, and investigators say they burned down two homes in Virginia Beach. The first call came from Caddy Court just after midnight. Five people escaped this house. And almost two hours later, a second call came in from Sandbridge. Police officers helped four people escape there. Today, your side's Ann McNamara spoke with a homeowner who was among them. And Tom, she says she and three others were in bed sleeping when two officers kicked down the door and woke them all up. Two policemen were banging on my door saying, get out, get out, your house is on fire. Barbara Doherty credits two police officers for saving her family from their burning home on San Fiddler Road. By the time we got out, the, the flames were just all over the house, so, so we got out just in time. This picture of her dead husband is one of the few items she was able to salvage. Hours later, Doherty surveyed the damage in the daylight, going through her home with an insurance agent. She was still wearing the same nightgown she fell asleep in after a happy 4th of July celebration. One fire officials believe sparked the flames. We're, we're confident that people are in dispute of this, but we're confident that the fire started from uh, illegal fireworks. The Doherty's say they didn't light them. Officials found the fireworks in front of the house. They say embers spread to the roof during the night. Officials say the same thing happened at this home on Caddy Court. Here, investigators found fireworks in a trash can inside the home. What happened last night, the fireworks, they were shot off, and then they threw them in the trash can, and they smoldered, lit the trash can off, which extended to the house. Five people were inside at the time, and luckily, like Doherty's family, they all escaped. Thank you, God, we all got out safe. Fire officials say the extensive damage on both homes is a sobering reminder to the rest of us. Our citizens just don't realize uh, the unattended consequences of these fires and how dangerous fireworks truly are. It is illegal to have any type of fireworks in the city of Virginia Beach, so could these families face charges, possibly summons from authorities? I'll have the answer new at 6. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. One more note, authorities say they confiscated more than 150 pounds of fireworks last night in Virginia Beach. They say the number is lower than usual because the 4th of July most likely fell on a weekday.